Welcome to We On Podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore researchers creating a map revealing Antarctica's changing landscape. The researchers, for the first time, have created a continent wide map of Antarctica for studying the rampant changes in its ecosystem and spreading plant life. Antarctica has always been expected to be all white with huge icebergs. However, what is shocking is the greens emerging from the mini pockets of the ice covered land. Amid warming temperatures and climate change, the ice-covered continent is undergoing a major transformation and is likely to now witness the growth of more vegetation. The search for green patches in Antarctica was carried out by an international team of scientists headed by the University of Edinburgh with the British Antarctic Survey, BAS, the Scottish Association for Marine Science and the Norwegian Institute for Nature Research with the help of satellite data from the European Space Agency, ESA. In the study, the scientists detected nearly 45 square kilometers of vegetation and nearly 80% of them were located in the Antarctic Peninsula and neighboring islands. The green space in Antarctica is only just 0.12%. Our continent scale map provides key information on vegetation presence in areas that are rarely visited by people. This will have profound implications for our understanding of where vegetation is located across the continent and what factors influence this distribution, said Charlotte Walshaw, who is a PhD researcher from the University of Edinburgh in a statement. The plant life is not able to spread easily in Antarctica's harsh wilderness, but the shifting landscapes and warming temperatures are now making it easier for plant life to spread across the continent. Only two vascular plants are the continent's native, which are Antarctic hair grass and Antarctic pearlwort. In the past, these plants were rare in the ice-dominated continent, but they have now turned common in the last couple of years because of rising temperatures. Notably, more than 100 plant species invaded Antarctica recently including common lawn grass, which has spread rapidly across sub-Antarctic islands and is now moving towards the Antarctic Peninsula. Getting an accurate map of the photosynthetic life of the continent gives us a baseline for assessing future change. As the continent warms and ice melts, we expect that areas of rock outcrop will expand and vegetation will colonize more ground. This new map enables us to monitor these consequences of climate change, said Peter Fretwell, who is the co-author of the paper and remote sensing expert at Bass. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.